여러분 안녕하세요. 뭉청어의 박앵커입니다. 이번 주에 낭독할 내용은 우리나라 20대 대통령 윤석열 대통령의 취임사를 간추린 뉴스입니다. 제 시그니처 컨텐츠에서는 한국인에게 최적화된 뭉치 낭독을 훈련하고 있는데요. 발성과 조음 자체가 다른 영어를 영어답게 구사하려면 끊어읽기와 강세, 음정, 연음, 속도 완급 등 신경을 써야 할 부분이 참 많습니다. 제 채널이 처음이신 분들은 4대 끊어읽기 영상을 우선 보시는 걸 추천드리고요. 그 다음에 다양한 뉴스와 문장을 가지고 매일 낭독 연습하는 걸 권장드려요. 영어의 음절, 단어, 덩어리 표현 그리고 나아가 문장 단위를 박앤커의 노하우로 리듬감 있게 발음을 할때 스피킹이 확실히 탄력을 받게 될 겁니다. 여러분 모두 화이팅입니다. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button to show me your support for my content. Thanks a lot. 먼저 주요 구문과 발음 꿀팁을 살펴보겠습니다. Number one. President Yoon Suk Yeol has pledged to rebuild the nation to truly belong to the people based on a liberal democracy and the market economy. President Yoon Suk Yeol has pledged to rebuild the nation to truly belong to the people based on a liberal democracy and the market economy. 자, 발음 포인트는요. truly belong 요 단어가 참 중요해요. truly truly 올라갔다가 떨어지는 굴절음이 느껴지죠? 좀 밀어내듯이 발음을 하세요. Truly. Belong. Belong. 끝소리는 코소리입니다. 응 소리가 들리죠? 조금 더 잔잔한 여운처럼 길게 발음을 해주셔야 돼요. Belong. Belong. 그 다음에 to the people. 끊어 읽기를 하고 난 다음에 to the는 기능어죠. 힘을 죽이고 좀 빠른 느낌으로 가는 겁니다. To the people. To the people. 자, 박자감이 달라지죠? 이 부분을 잘 복제해 보시기 바랍니다. 자, 그리고 democracy. democracy. 머의 강세와 음정이 팍 올라가요. 어떤 분들은 democracy 이렇게 발음하는데 아, 그렇게 발음하면 원어민이 못 알아듣습니다. democracy. democracy. 머의 강세를 확실히 주세요. 그리고 market. market. 마켓이 아닙니다. 그거는 콩글리시 발음이죠. 마켓, 깃, 쌍기역 소리, 에, 죽이는 소리로 발음을 하세요. 마켓, 마켓. Number two. Citing the COVID-19 pandemic, global supply chain disruptions, climate change, food and energy shortages, low growth, and societal polarization. Citing the COVID-19 pandemic, global supply chain disruptions, climate change, food and energy shortages, low growth, and societal polarization. 자, 여기에서는 disruptions, 이 단어 발음이 중요합니다. disruptions, rup, 비읍 받침으로 잡았다가 발음을 이어주시는 거예요. disruptions, 푸 소리가 안 납니다. disruptions, 그리고 너무나 중요한데요. climate change, 두 단어로 이루어진 단어 뭉치에서는 첫 번째 단어에 음정 강세가 더 들어갑니다. 그러니까 떴다 떨어지는 느낌이에요. Climate change. Climate change. Change에서 떨어지는 게 느껴지죠? 그리고 societal. Societal. 이중 모음 발음이고 sire. sire 소리가 납니다. Societal. Number three. The president assessed that anti-intellectualism, in which discord among different groups leads to the distortion of truth, threatens democracy. The president assessed that anti-intellectualism, in which discord among different groups leads to the distortion of truth, threatens democracy. 자 여기에서는 중요한 파트가 in which부터 truth까지가 부연 구문이라는 거고요. 발음을 좀 밋밋하게. 약간 빠른 속도로 가주는 거예요. 그리고 threatens가 동사 아닙니까? 가장 중요한 단어라고 볼 수가 있는데 살짝 truth에서 살짝 퍼즈를 해줬다가 threatens democracy. 좀 도드라지게 임팩트를 주어서 발음하는 게 좋습니다. Number four. 
Should the regime take practical steps toward denuclearization, Yun promised a bold plan in cooperation with the international community to support groundbreaking improvements in the North Korean economy and its people's lives. Should the regime take practical steps toward denuclearization, Yun promised a bold plan in cooperation with the international community to support groundbreaking improvements in the North Korean economy and its people's lives. 이 문장에서 중요한 단어는 뭐니 뭐니 해도 비핵화란 단어가 되겠습니다. Denuclearization. Denuclearization. DE. 이 접두어는요. 탈, 분리란 뜻을 갖고 있죠. 끊어 읽으시면 좋습니다. Denuclearization. Denuclearization. 이렇게 읽어 주시고요. Groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. 파격적인, 획기적인이란 말인데 디철자 소리를 안 냅니다. Groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. 이렇게 발음하는 걸 권장드려요. 여러분 모두 영어 스피킹 강자가 되세요. 화이팅입니다. President Yoon Song Yeol has pledged to rebuild the nation to truly belong to the people, based on a liberal democracy and the market economy. At his inauguration ceremony in front of some 41,000 people gathered at the National Assembly lawn on Tuesday, Yoon said he is responding to the call of the Times to advance South Korea toward fulfilling its responsibility and role in the international community. Citing the COVID-19 pandemic, global supply chain disruptions, climate change, food and energy shortages, low growth and societal polarization, Yoon pointed out that current politics have been rendered incapable of resolving them due to a democratic crisis. The president assessed that anti-intellectualism, in which discord among different groups leads to the distortion of truth, threatens democracy. He then called on society to redefine the values of liberty to overcome such crises. On economic growth, Yoon emphasized that only science, technology, and innovation can offer opportunities for the country to make a leap forward and achieve rapid expansion. Regarding North Korea, the president pledged to leave the door to dialogue open to seek a peaceful resolution to the North's nuclear development. Should the regime take practical steps toward denuclearization, Yun promised a bold plan in cooperation with the international community to support groundbreaking improvements in the North Korean economy and its people's lives. President Yun Song Yeol has pledged to rebuild the nation to truly belong to the people based on a liberal democracy and the market economy. At his inauguration ceremony in front of some 41,000 people gathered at the National Assembly lawn on Tuesday, Yun said he is responding to the call of the Times to advance South Korea toward fulfilling its responsibility and role in the international community. Citing the COVID-19 pandemic, global supply chain disruptions, climate change, food and energy shortages, low growth and societal polarization, Yun pointed out that current politics have been rendered incapable of resolving them due to a democratic crisis. The president assessed that anti-intellectualism, in which discord among different groups leads to the distortion of truth, threatens democracy. He then called on society to redefine the values of liberty to overcome such crises. On economic growth, Yun emphasized that only science, technology, and innovation can offer opportunities for the country to make a leap forward and achieve rapid expansion. Regarding North Korea, the president pledged to leave the door to dialogue open to seek a peaceful resolution to the North's nuclear development. Should the regime take practical steps toward denuclearization, Yun promised a bold plan in cooperation with the international community to support groundbreaking improvements in the North Korean economy 
and its people's lives. President Yoon Sung-yeol has pledged to rebuild the nation to truly belong to the people, based on a liberal democracy and the market economy. At his inauguration ceremony, in front of some 41,000 people gathered at the National Assembly lawn on Tuesday, Yoon said he is responding to the call of the times to advance South Korea toward fulfilling its responsibility and role in the international community. Citing the COVID-19 pandemic, global supply chain disruptions, climate change, food and energy shortages, low growth and societal polarization, Yun pointed out that current politics have been rendered incapable of resolving them due to a democratic crisis. The president assessed that anti-intellectualism, in which discord among different groups leads to the distortion of truth, threatens democracy. He then called on society to redefine the values of liberty to overcome such crises. On economic growth, Yoon emphasized that only science, technology and innovation can offer opportunities for the country to make a leap forward and achieve rapid expansion. Regarding North Korea, the president pledged to leave the door to dialogue open to seek a peaceful resolution to the North's nuclear development. Should the regime take practical steps toward denuclearization, Yun promised a bold plan in cooperation with the international community to support groundbreaking improvements in the North Korean economy and its people's lives.